Hello, Pep. How was Phil Foden? At home. I don't know. I don't know. Has he had a nice afternoon? Sorry? Has he had a nice afternoon? I, I think he'd be, he will... He will be back to the training center to yeah be the doctors. I think he feels better. I spoke with the doctor three days ago and feels better. But still, he's not ready. Do you know when he may be ready? When you may have him available? I don't know. When I start to train, you will you will know it. And for our social media, I think so. And and after that, we'll be closer to come back. But I still cannot train with us. It feels like recent matches your team have shown their best football this season. Do you know why it is that it seems like they've hit their, their peak now? Inconsistency, see, yes. And the fact that we are uh, winning games and games, that we could not do it uh, during the season. During the season, our good games, we play really, really good as well, but we were not consistent. And the reason why that uh, everybody knows that uh, if we lose games, we lose competition. And that's why... Our attention and details are higher. It's the same like tomorrow. If we lose the game, we will not be champion. If we win, we could be still there. Because we cannot forget, we are six points behind Arsenal. A team like he dropped a few, few points during the season and playing one game a week with a lot of time for recovery, analyze and prepare the games, that will be so difficult to drop points. So that's why you have to be there as much as possible. Have you done anything differently this season with the team to ensure that they are at their most consistent now? Sorry? Have you done anything differently managing the team this season to ensure that they're hitting their most consistent patch No, no, no. In general, no. In general, in general, we say consistent. They are the second best consistent team of the league. So it's not bad at all. The problem was is that when it was amazing so far, uh, doing really well. But our average, our points, our performance in general is not bad enough. No bad enough. It's not, I would say, disaster. I don't have that feeling. So still we are there it's because we have done many good things. Only, like in the sport it happened, when there is another one that is a better than you, you have to accept it, admit it, in, and, and keep going. Thank you, Pep. Pep, um, do you think that uh, beyond the current six points advantage that Arsenal have, um, them having less games until the end of the season because you are alive in three competitions, they have eight games left in the, in the Premier League. Could that play a part? Well, honestly, I, would, uh, I, I don't know. Sometimes our experience, when we are every three days games, games of every four days, we are in rhythm, we are in incredible focus, that helped us. In the past it was like that, when we play a lot of competitions until the end, help us. Sometimes we play one a week, in a part of in our team, in our team. Eh? Sometimes we, we lose the, you know, the rhythm when we have, you know, when you have on Saturday and next Tuesday or Wednesday, you have recovery, the games, the, the mind of the players always are in here. You know, when we have one week, always you have two days off. You have to come back in, in the rhythm. Sometimes we lose this, this type of feeling. But at the end of the season, I said before, when you see, you know, in six weeks, seven weeks, it's over, everything is over. So the players do absolutely everything to keep going. Can I ask you about Edison as well? Um, I think that being a goalkeeper for your team is a bit hard sometimes because you don't concede many chances, so they don't show up too often, but he was really important against Bayern in the beginning yeah. of the second half especially. How do you assess his season so far? I've said many times in these kind of competitions, it happened in the past, so fortunately sometimes when the game is in our side, it was not the case against Bayern Munich, but normally arrive a few, few times, there's one or two, he has to save it, <laughs> I don't know. And the, 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 the action from Leroy, that was really clear because Leroy in that situation is almost unstoppable. He made an incredible save. It was a result 1-0 in that moment. That's why the margins, you know, in this competition is we try to analyze the game itself. You know how good we are, how bad they are, they were. But this it does make the difference, you know. With 0-0, Musiala shoot and and make an incredible block from from what happened if Musiala scored. We had the same team. They were the same team. 
and maybe the result would be completely different with one zero, you know, Eddie making an incredible save. In this competition, these kind of actions are so important to after be survived in that moment and after score second goal and after we are there. And after we analyze how good we are, how not good they were, and this is not true. So it was a tight, tight game and a, a little moment that, yeah, we were there. We were more fortunate that in the past didn't happen and I could make a good lead in that. And, and that's why we, we got a good result in the first leg. Pep, I know you've said plenty of times in the past that what's gone before doesn't count for anything. But do you accept that it can have an impact, the success of your team over the last years can have an impact on the sure. teams that you're fighting against? The impact, the, the only impact I believe is what I said before, is the fact that uh, everybody knows in his completely body, from the top at the bottom, that if we lose, it's over. And it's the best way to compete, it's the best way. Because in every action and set pieces in the transitions or whatever, every action in football, the players are living here because they felt it. We have to win that duel, we have to win that action, otherwise we are going to lose the game. And that is when you have the best. For the experience, I have doubts about if the experience comes a lot for the next time. I have doubts. Still, I'm sorry, I need the age for Roy Hudson with 73 or 74 years old to understand exactly what is experience important for them. I need more years to understand it really, really counts what happened in the past, in the present. It's just that I'm not sure. Most people, maybe not here, maybe not at Arsenal, but most people looking at the title would think, because uh, because Arsenal dropped points, you're six points behind, you're three, you've got a game in hand, you play them, that six points will, dis will disappear and that is why you will be on top. The reality is six points behind. Yeah, nobody guarantee you're going to to win the game against our game in hand, that is the best team in the world making the build up. The best team is Brighton. There's no team better to make the process to bring the keeper the ball to the last quarter. There is no team better in modern football right now. And an Arsenal at home, so the draw points, so no guarantee actually anything. The reality today the table are six points behind. If you wanna be draw or we tight or we close, you have to win our games. That is the the, the people say no, we are eight points behind or uh, in front of uh, the second in the past of Liverpool have seven, eight points. No, it's okay. They have to win it. So at the end, when they have tied the games and after we see the reality and the reality is we are six points behind and tomorrow we have to try to sleep with three points behind. This is what you have to do. Hi, Pep. Uh, obviously, the big change at Leicester has been Dean Smith coming in. What, what sort of difference do you think um, his arrival can make? Well, it's not easy, we know, for experience in Aston Villa. I'm, first, I'm really happy that he's back because uh, the time we we face each other against uh, first in Aston Villa and after one game against Norwich, the relation... Uh, I know from Jack how exceptional a person he is and, uh, and how good environment and, and good vibes to the team he creates and that he's going to help a lot to Leicester right now. It's always uncomfortable because I didn't see one game, I don't know if we're playing one way and the other one, so... We have to adapt immediately, quickly after 10, 15 minutes, because I don't know honestly what he's going to do. Um, and I'm pretty sure when you have a new manager in this situation, the impact from Leicester players will be will be massive. I'm pretty sure of that. So they are in a difficult sit situation, and with a new manager, I'm pretty sure they will do their best. And can you focus solely on this game, or do you have to look ahead to Bayern yeah. Munich FA Cup? Definitely only just game. Hi, Pep. Um, you know and have worked with Kevin De Bruyne for a long time now, um, but we saw his reaction to being substituted. Um, do you feel the need to, to speak to him after something like that, or does it just heat at the moment? He comes into training the next no. day and it's all good. If I need to speak, I will speak. But uh, I didn't see him this day, so it's normal. It's not the first time happening in modern football, happening in all the clubs, it's going to happen in the future. Is it in some ways a sign of the size and magnitude of these games that you're involved in. You speak there about every player knowing that you can't slip up, you can't lose, or you will be out of these competitions. About, sorry? Yeah, the, the emotions that the players are going through, the size specifically. For the gesture from Kevin? Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, I understand completely. 
but in the same time, I understand Real Madrid didn't play, and and Jaime didn't play, and Sergio didn't play, and Calvin didn't play. I would make a selection always. I thought about the players didn't play, so everyone want to play, you know. Everyone want to do their best. So I understand completely. You want to be in and help the team. Always have done. So these seven years, can you imagine these seven years without Kevin De Bruyne? It's impossible. Do you see the games against Liverpool, against uh, Burnley, against Southampton? But every game is different. I saw in that moment, I felt it that uh, change for 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 Julian, I could change for the other one. So that's why I'm here. So it's not absolutely. The players believe it's personal. I believe it's for that reason. It's because in the right moment, I tried to do the best to win the game, and I believe that. Less. You know, if it works, uh, how good I am. It doesn't work, how bad I am. So, but it's where it is. Uh, Liverpool this week ended their interest in Jude Bellingham. Is he a player that you're interested in bringing to Manchester City? How many press conferences you come here? A few. You know, you know the answer. It's not necessary. You have to prepare better. You know, you come here, prepare the questions, knowing me that which question, which answer I'm going to to your question. Next one. The embargo attempted this season. No more. Uh,